The Oscars are a filmmaker's heaven, and we're gonna highlight how female directors are making history. For the first time in 93 years, the Academy has nominated two women in the same year for Best Director, Emerald Fennell and Chloe Zhao. Emerald made her directorial debut with the film Promising Young Woman, starring Carey Mulligan as the lead. The film tells the harrowing story of a woman seeking revenge after her best friend is brutally assaulted in college. What do you want from me? Say that I'm an ass. Fine, I'm a fing ass. Oh. Why are you so freaked out now? You really need to calm down. Reportedly, Emerald was seven months pregnant during shooting and gave birth to a son just three weeks after filming Wrapped. Now the filmmaker has scored three total noms, including Best Original Screenplay and Best Picture, proving women can really do it all. This film, I hope, as well as just being pleasurable, will be something that people will leave the movie theater and have having had enjoyed it, but also wanting to kind of analyze it. The director is no stranger to the spotlight. In 2018, she was tapped to be the showrunner for the second season of Killing Eve. And following that, she stepped in front of the camera to appear as the young Camilla Parker Bowles on Netflix's The Crown. Chloe Zhao's Nomadland follows the story of a woman named Fern and her journey as she settles into her new life as a nomadic worker. My mom said that you're homeless. Is that true? No, I'm not homeless. I'm just... Houseless. Not the same thing, right? No. Chloe is the first woman of Asian descent to be nominated in the category for her directing work in Nomadland. She's also the first woman to score four nominations in the same year. This, of course, includes Best Director, but also Best Picture, Best Adapted Screenplay, and Best Film Editing. She shot the entire film in four months, traveling the American West with real-life nomadic workers. I love working with actors and other actors together. I, I would like to continue that uh, in future work. I think it's a very special thing to, to mix that. While Zhao is known for her work in independent films, she is set to direct the upcoming blockbuster Marvel film, Eternals, which will premiere in the fall. It's clear that this is a huge year for women because previously only five women had ever been nominated for Best Director in the Academy's history. The first time was with Lena Vertmuller for 1976's Seven Beauties. Then came Jane Campion in 1994 for The Piano, followed by Sofia Coppola for Lost in Translation in 2004. And then finally in 2010, the only woman to take home the prize is Catherine Bigelow for her work in The Hurt Locker. The last female director to be nominated in the category Category was Greta Gerwig in 2018 for Lady Bird. Fast forward to today, the Academy recognized 70 women, giving out 76 nominations to women across the slate more than any year prior. And while we have come a long way, we still have much further to go, but it is clear that this year belongs to the females.